G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam, and for today's video I'll be taking you through the full integration of the brand new TikTok Ads Lead Capture integration, showing you how to install the brand new TikTok plugin, how to connect it with your TikTok account so it works inside Marketing Cloud, configure a brand new lead capture form and connect it with Marketing Cloud, so you can then use some test data and see it for yourself in a data extension in Marketing Cloud. So the first thing we can do is jump into our app exchange and we can type in TikTok and press enter into the search bar to find the brand new TikTok lead ads integration. We can click on that brand new tile just like this, which takes us through to the TikTok lead ads integration page. On this page, we'll click the get now button to load in to our get now page to see the information about the plugin. Of course, we have to log in first. So we'll log into our Trailblazer account. Once all signed in, we can then see the information provided. And we do have to give some information to TikTok and Salesforce as we connect. So once we fill the information out, we will click yes to agree to the terms and conditions and then visit the provider. This takes us on to the TikTok integration page, which shows us the instructions for how to install the connector. On this page, we can scroll down and find our link to connect to. Now it does have a stack provided link. You can see here the example is using S4 for stack four. Check which stack you're logged into in Marketing Cloud and replace S4 with your stack, be it S6, S10, 11, 12, 13, or otherwise. Once you have that, you can copy and paste it into the URL and press enter. When you load that link, it'll take you through to the setup screen. And I am already logged into my Marketing Cloud. I'm logged into an admin account, so I have all the right privileges. Once logged in, it takes us to this page here. We can then install our brand new package. To install the package, we can click the install button. Once we choose to accept the Salesforce terms and conditions, we'll go forward to our next loading screen. And there we are, package is installed. What we can do here is make sure we have the correct access to this package. You can click on the access tab, and make sure all the right business units and users have been provisioned. You can see here that my username has been provisioned on my current business unit. You can change this if you want to change who can access this package in your Marketing Cloud instance. Now at this point, what you'll find is that the package has been installed, but if you hover over the App Exchange tab, you'll find it does not yet exist under the tab. What you have to do is press F5 to refresh your browser. This will reload all your installed packages and plugins. And by doing so, we can then check for ourselves by hovering over the top left-hand side cloud, going back across to the App Exchange, and we should now see TikTok lead ads. Hovering over the TikTok lead ads, we can then click on it, which loads into our TikTok lead ads plugin page. On this page, we of course have to be logged in to our TikTok account. Once logged in, we can then connect our accounts together. Now I don't yet have a TikTok account, so to start with, I'm gonna jump in and sign up for a brand new TikTok account. With my new TikTok ad account created, I can now log back into Marketing Cloud and click the Apply for Permissions button. When I do, I'm greeted by the Review and Accept our Anti-Discrimination Ad Policy Terms for TikTok. Once I've reviewed those terms and conditions, I can then choose to click the Accept button. On the next page, I can choose Confirm to complete the connection between my TikTok and my Marketing Cloud. With that done, I'm greeted by the next welcome page, which allows me to choose my Ad Manager account. At this time, though, I have no Ad Manager accounts, so it's back to TikTok to make sure I have my Ad Manager account set up. As I go through and create my brand new ad account, there is one thing to consider, that is at the time of recording, TikTok does require you to have a business account to set up the lead capture form. If you're using your personal account, you won't have access to these features, but again, check back with the TikTok terms and conditions of the connector, as these may change in time. But for now, make sure you do have a business account for your TikTok to create the lead generation ads. Back into Marketing Cloud now, and I can refresh my view to find my brand new ad account, and there it is. I can choose my account, and then when the next screen refreshes, I can choose the Connect button. By choosing Connect, I'm going to be linking my TikTok ads account with my Marketing Cloud instance. With that connected, I can choose Next to move to my next screen. And on this screen, I can choose to connect my forms. Now this time I have zero forms, so once again, it's back in TikTok to create a lead capture form. So back over in TikTok, and I can choose to create ads. On this screen, I do have to go and create a brand new ad account as I don't have one just yet. So I'll quickly fast forward through this and make my brand new ad account. Of course, you won't have to do this if you have your own business account. With that done, I can choose to return to my ad manager and start creating my brand new ad campaign. 
On this screen, I can choose to create ad. I'm dropped into my simplified or custom mode. I can choose simplified or custom to make my brand new lead generation form. With that done, I can speed ahead and create my brand new lead generation form. I can show I've filled out all the information that I need, including the creative and questions that I want to show on my lead capture form, but more on that shortly. With my form complete, I can once more return back into Marketing Cloud, choose my ad account once more, and proceed to the next screen. And on that screen, I should now see my refresh selection of forms, and there it is, my brand new lead capture form. I can choose that form and click Next, and by doing so, I'm offered up a choice of what I want to use as the subscriber key for this form. And I can see all the fields that are being captured by this form in TikTok. And with this example, I could choose email, but I'm gonna choose the lead ID. That way it's a unique ID that I can use for each of my records. With that done, I can choose next to confirm my form. With that done, I'm gonna click on the yes, send some test data button. What this will do is once my data extension is created inside Marketing Cloud, it's going to add one row of test data so I can see what it should look like for myself. And there we have it. A test row of data has been added to my data extension so I can check it out later on. I can go back and confirm that my connection has been completed for that form. Going next, it's all been set up. So now let's go back into the data extensions in Marketing Cloud, and have a look at that brand new created data extension and that test row. Over in Email Studio in my data extensions, I can find the TikTok lead form data extension with the name of the form that I connected and here it is here with my one row. I can click into my data extension and check out all the fields that were added based on the form that I completed inside the TikTok lead ad generator. You can see here all my forms are there. Lead ID you can see is primary key, used for sending as well, perfect. I can also scroll down and find all the other fields that I've got. First name and email, perfect. So let's try and have a look at what the sample data is that was sent through as well. Now I did add that TT form for myself, a custom field. I can see there it is there, TT form with cam test that I put in to my TikTok form. So I can put my own parameters in for my own purposes. The rest of the test data is here. I can see the name and emails all filled out. So with that test record complete, I've confirmed I can connect my lead generation form from TikTok directly into Marketing Cloud. So there you have it, an end-to-end -end process to install the brand new TikTok lead capture ads connector in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Now the whole process took me about 20 minutes end-to-end, -end. that included installing the package, signing up for TikTok, creating the ads account, and of course making that custom capture ad form. Of course, if you have these things configured yourself already in your business, it should be a much faster process for you. Now, one key thing to be aware of is that the lead capture ads goes directly into a data extension in Marketing Cloud, and does not consume contacts until you send or activate on that data. That of course means doing a guided send or connecting that data extension to a journey builder activity. What that means is that data is sitting there for you to use however you choose before it consumes those contacts. And I'll cover off in a different video how you can then import those records into your marketing cloud, Salesforce CRM, or external CRM system. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this quick intro into the TikTok lead capture ads installation and setup. If you have, then please let me know in the comments below with a big thumbs up on the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.